Wait, no, what now? Worms? Eating foam? What? So this is the stuff that your food comes in, your television, and they even make surfboards out of it. It's polystyrene. It's a piece of plastic. And it's pretty nasty stuff because it doesn't biodegrade. It lasts for an incredibly long time. Big problem is that traditional surfboards and you know wavecraft is toxic. The materials that go in it, it's bad for the environment and bad for the people building the boards. There's so much on the beach and it breaks your heart. It's never going away. So we gotta figure out how to use it. You can upcycle or recycle, but there's another idea using biology and specifically worms. A good buddy who's over in Hawaii, the story goes, he bought him his bait, and they're in a little styrofoam cup. And he leaves and he's gone for a couple hours, he comes back and these worms are loose in his truck. And he looked and the lid was on. So they literally ate through the container. It turns out they love this stuff and they've got a, basically a, like a bacteria in their gut that allows them to take an inorganic material and process it and pass it off as organic. So literally their poop becomes soil. 10,000 worms would do about uh, uh, optimum week where it was the right temperature. Uh, they would eat about 70 liters of foam, which is roughly two and a half shortboards. Oh, the worms ate a boogie board. You're looking at Worm it. plastic that, poop. That's what this is. So see that? That's something they ate. So that what they left over was this. So that's a, it's almost gone. That's a chunk of foam that's literally almost gone. I think what's really cool is we know that there's something organic on this planet that will do that, that will eat this foam. But the big issue is that this stuff can, if it's not upcycled or recycled, end up in landfill sites. Yep. And it won't break down. That's the thing with styrofoam. It, it just doesn't break this down. This thing will live longer than we will. Yep. So you need like hundreds of yep. thousands of worms to yep. start smashing through all this. Literally, we need the next building. Worms eating foam is one way they're going zero waste, but they're experimenting with other ideas too. So that's the other thing is the citrus. We use concentrated organic citrus oil uh, that you usually clean and that eats, that literally dissolves the EPS. They've taken a bunch of this surfboard waste. They've completely shredded it up and now turning into tiles. So Those are our waste streams. So we categorize everything, separate it, and then if it's like pulp based or wood, it's gotta be saturated with resin. Otherwise we can't shred it. Ryan's goal is zero waste manufacturing. The idea that nothing ends up in landfill sites. You know, the next goal is to figure out how we can use found plastic waste and use that to make boards. We're just trying to keep all ours in here, right? And keep it from going in the landfill and, and use what we're making. So the end goal, the ultimate goal, is to be able to uh, create a bigger impact and hopefully other people will start doing what we're doing. I'm an environmentalist, I push it, I do whatever I can. Uh, companies are, you know, refusing to change. The more people that do it, the cheaper it will become. We've got a, a solution for our trash, now we want to figure out solutions for other people's waste. This is hashtag our stories, what's yours?